Hello and welcome to another episode of Dark Future Dice Podcast, A Roll of a Lifetime. I'm Lindsay and I'll be playing Columbia. I'm Sloane and I'll be playing Lucy Lawful. And I'm Titus and I will be the GM slash referee. And we'd like to thank our Patreon producers, Ether Sphinx, our editor, Alec Trupiano, and Ben McNally Books for providing us the space to record. And finally, our Telsorian Games, the creators of Cyberpunk Red, the game we will be playing today. Yeah. Well, okay, great. <laughs> it's a brand new campaign. Yeah. So no recap. So we'll get right into it. Mm-hmm. It is a cold and rainy November day in Atlantic City. Mm hmm. We'll start off inside the ruined aquarium that has become Columbia's private investigation office called Bloodhound P.I. Why don't you uh, introduce us to your character and just Mm -hmm. what would you be doing, you know, on a a typical Friday at 3 p.m. with no (laughs) cases currently active? Well, uh, Columbia, Detective De Columbia would probably be going over her client notes, <laughs> looking up some numbers to hit up for people who might need help solving a case. <laughs> um, maybe some, there's some cold cases in my docket that I've never gotten around to um, and reviewing the notes on those. Um, I have my trusty dog, my bloodhound dog named Dog with me (laughs) Mm -hmm. and uh we're just kind of chilling in the aquarium um i'm based out of this old aquarium because i'm broke (laughs) i basically live out of there in my car (laughs) i'll add the detail that when it rains it's very drippy inside the aquarium it's very leaky which is appropriate and what are you wearing like what do you what do you look like like? so if you've ever seen the 70s um let's cop pretend show. let's pretend someone has never <laughs> yeah, seen, seen or heard of Columbo. Um so last we utter that name. <laughs> just <laughs> I basically yeah, I I've modeled my character after Columbo, this TV detective personality. Um she is kind of bedraggled, mm-hmm. kind of um affable, kind of like has a really um friendly outgoing manner. Um, And is able to get information out of people by just, I guess, being like affable and and friendly. Um, She's very non-threatening. She doesn't even carry a gun, which is going to be wild (laughs) for this for this world. But yeah, she um, is broke, but is not upset about it. That's not really her thing. She's she's kind of like anti-capitalist in that way where she's not out there to make a quick buck or anything. She, she really believes in the truth, finding the truth uh, um, at the bottom of every case. And she cares about the people involved in every case. You know, she's, she's kind of rare in that regard. Um, And she does not, she no longer works for the cops. She once did, but found that they were very corrupt in Atlantic city and had to leave. I believe the detail was that you used to work for Arasaka Security. Yes, right? yeah. Arasaka Security. Mm-hmm. But yeah, after discovering um, the corruption there and not allow really aligning with her values, she left and started up her own private detective firm. But what do you, yeah, describe your clothes and your general appearance. <laughs> Yeah. Why do you want to know about my clothes because so much? We're just trying to we're trying to <laughs> get a do some mental theater picture. of the mind. Yeah. Ba- okay, a, a bag leggy chic is the mm-hmm. um, style I went with. Just imagine, you know, basic detective kind of looking uh, ensemble. Like the trench overcoat, coat, yeah. yeah, trench coat, a black tie. So suit then. Yeah, kind of like suit, but like it hasn't been pressed in a while. <laughs> it's kind of wrinkly. Um, maybe there's a stain, a grease stain on like my lapel or yeah. something. Um, and my hair is, I don't know, n- non-distinct <laughs> for the most part, just Short. kind of shortish, kind of parted at mm-hmm. the side. Did you go with the cigar? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So carrying, I need the cigar. I'm the cigar constantly 
carrying it. I may not even be smoking it. It's just like in my hand. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> Um, and I have a cybernetic eye, my right eye, mm-hmm. um, and I managed to just get that micro optic, um, I guess, ability so I can magnify things 400 times. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you're in your office mm-hmm. fiddling around with stuff. Um, okay, let's move over to your character, Sloan. I think that you are, from what I remember, you are going to be shadowing a detective for a new role Mm -hmm. that you're going to be playing in an upcoming feature film. So I guess we'll find you uh, having knocked on the door a couple of times and received no answer. You've uh, (laughs) braved to just try to get inside and have a look around. So you're currently stumbling around this dank used to be aquarium. Mm -hmm. Uh, The only thing that's kind of told you that you were in the right place is like a very, I'm going to say not not well kept sign. No, that says, rusted out like <laughs> blinking so- neon sign. <laughs> yeah, that says Bloodhound Detective yeah, uh, mm-hmm. Agency on it. And uh, yeah, so why don't we, why don't you tell us about yourself? Okay, yeah. Uh, Lucy Lawful is the name. And uh, I am a actor who has started um, as kind of a model slash actor kind of doing some uh, kind of propaganda-esque parts during the corporate war, kind of pin, picture pinup style stuff. And um, modeling, I presume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I, uh, I am, yeah, kind of uh, looking to branch out, looking to get into a more serious role in, um, and uh, wanted to take on a kind of detective role, to try to get, you know, into that kind of gritty character uh, down study. to earth kind yeah. of movies. So I'm over here trying to shadow um, uh, the, the, the detective. Okay. Uh, um, I'm, I've got, uh, as far as appearance goes, I have uh, uh, cybernetic skin. What do they call it? Chem skin mm. um, and uh, tech hair. So my skin is giving off this kind of like, beautiful glow kind of vibe it's not like any unnatural color or anything like that but it's just way too like perfect looking and like kind of tanned and has like (laughs) sun-kissed cheeks and (laughs) literally glows a little bit (laughs) ever so slightly you wouldn't notice normally until i'm in the dark no you mean in this in the light you know in the sun like no, Edward no you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and band. my hair, uh, tech hair, will change colors, but right now it's in a very serious dark brown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to you're trying to look impress. serious for this yeah. role. Yeah, right. And I have like uh, kind of short bangs and black eyeliner and uh, some mirror shades on, um, and I'm just like kind of boho, kind sheet. of. St- lightly stepping around puddles because I'm wearing like <laughs> sandals, mm, okay. um, open toed shoes. <laughs> so yeah, that's my vibe. I guess eventually you stumble upon a room that's lit with, uh, Columbia mm-hmm. and her dog dog <laughs> in it. Um, I guess you're kind of mumbling to yourself. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh, where'd I put that note? Ah. And I'll just let you guys play out the scene. I think I had, uh, hi. Um, oh, oh, I'm looking for Mad Dog Agency's detectives. Mad, Mad Dog, eh? Um, that's uh, we're we're Bloodhound PI. I don't know if that's what you're looking for, but right. No, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, sorry, uh, agent. I think gave me the wrong oh, title agent. there. Oh, you know? yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Hollywood agent called earlier. Yeah, Lucy Lawful. Lucy Lawful. You probably recognize. Oh, me. yeah. You were in that one. What was it? That uh, it was alligators attack. Alligators attack. Yeah. That's right. That's that was great. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, um, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I bet. I bet. How did it feel to like be rolling around in the river with that prosthetic alligator? That was actually not me. Um, oh, yeah, you don't do your own stunts. stunts. I okay. Well, I'm trying to do more as I get. Like I just got some uh, combat training and stuff. Oh like wow. That. Yep. Okay. 
Yeah, worked yeah, real, with some real serious there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> worked with uh, Keanu Sleeves and um, and kind of got some. Yeah, oh yeah, I heard he's a nice guy. He's a great guy. He's uh, really great. I can. Uh, that's that's yeah, great. Maybe if you come down to LA, sometimes I can. Oh, we can go. I out would. To lunch. I would never. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Atlantic City's the place for me. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm finding it. Yeah, pretty charming so far. Charming, eh? Is that what you call it? Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're here to shadow me, eh? Yeah. Where, huh. Where's the where's our first case? Let's do this. Well, uh, let me just start off by saying uh, we got a lot of cold cases, if you will. You know the term. You know the mm. the case that hasn't been solved. It's mm, been yeah. a okay. bit over a five years on some of these things. Uh, just dusting them off, that seeing long. what I got. Yeah, yeah. You'd be surprised at how much how much people get away with in the city, you know? Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, um, you know, crime. <laughs> what do you know? Why don't you tell me what you know about crime? Oh, solving it. <laughs> I think it's, um, it's super complicated, you know? Yeah, yeah. Solving mysteries. I think it's about, um, just stopping the evil, you know? Sure. Stopping it. Um, Sometimes and, it's a bit more complicated, though, you know, like the people involved might not be evil per se, but uh, they found themselves in the circumstance, you know, complicated. OK, yeah. Do you mind if I take notes? Yeah, of course. Of OK. Course. Uh, she pulls out a pen and paper <laughs> yeah, and tries style. to take yeah. notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you're you're going to do well. And then well she throws this. it away and says, Agent, <laughs> take a take note. Um, crime is complicated. <laughs> Who's taking your notes for you? My agent. Oh, your agent. Okay. Yeah. Does your agent have a name? Uh, no. Yeah. I just <laughs> no, call them agent. Just call them agent. Just, just like my dog is called. Yeah. Also, <laughs> pretend that it's like your your actual agent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and with that, mm. uh, the both of you hear uh, the tick tick topping of some high heeled shoes mm. as someone else enters into the room. Ah, busy day, busy day. Um, am I am I in the right place? Uh, I'm looking for Bloodhound Detective Agency. That's me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's not what I expected, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, rent's tough in in the city. Mm, mm, mm. You see before you mm. um, a woman, roughly mid thirties. Mm-hmm. She has uh, done up hair. She's wearing sort of corpo gear, a mm. uh, pink um, suit dress Ooh. with uh, shoulder pads. Mm. She's pulling a rolling suitcase with her. Looks like she's ready for a conference or some <laughs> right. sort of trip. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, jet black hair mm. and uh, sort of pale skin. Mm-hmm. What can I do you for? Uh, well... I I have a matter that I'm hoping you can help me with. Yeah, of course. Mm. You got a case for me? Sure. Uh, is it okay if I, is there a place to uh, sit down or? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. And I pull out like an ottoman, <laughs> like this leather beaten oh. ottoman with like the like stuff all over. And I just kind of dust it off and I put it out beside my desk. Like, there you go. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I, you know, I'm actually fine standing, but um, well, suit yourself. Yeah, I, just, I sit then. <laughs> I, oh. I pictured you were sitting on the desk. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm sitting on the desk. <laughs> yeah, uh, and so um, you work as a, a team. Yeah, well, uh, don't mind her. This is Lucy. Lucy, meet uh, uh wh- what did you say your name was? I, I didn't. Uh, my name's my name's Pinnacle. Pinnacle. Nice. Yeah, Pinnacle, Pinnacle Hollander. Lucy. Lucy's going to be my uh, shadow. She's uh, studying oh, for a role. Um, For a, a role as a... A role as a detective. Like as a detective? So she's studying to be a detective? Yes. She's studying to be a detective character in the movies, you know, on the silver screen. Oh. It's a unique kind of situation. Oh, so. okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, the jig is up. You probably recognize me. <laughs> I just, I'm a little, <laughs> but I'm just wondering if you could 
Will you be able to be discreet about this well, of investigation? Course. Discretion Act- is my specialty, you know. There's such a thing as actor pupil confidentiality. I, was I act- thought you sorry, were the pupil. Actor study confidentiality. You don't think that like you don't think that uh, Lady Gaga um <laughs> So wait, Keanu Sleeves had a special name, but Lady Gaga is just Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga in this world? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, I don't think that Lady Gaga snitched on on uh, Senora Gucci when she talked to her in prison. Hmm. Actually, I heard that uh, Senora Gucci wasn't happy with uh, her portrayal, so they didn't really talk to her. Well, Whatever, I never watched that stupid movie. I guess um, at this point, it's too late to uh, find... An alternative, so we'll just go ahead <laughs> with this uh, job because uh, I am in a bit of a hurry, unfortunately. But um, okay, yeah, I well, just don't really started. don't really know where to start. I've never done something like this well, before. Well, I guess just to uh, you know lay my cards on the table, as they say. I think my sister is in trouble, and I'm looking for someone to look after her this weekend. Um, What kind of trouble? Oh, so I guess, you know, we grew up together, obviously. Um, Mm. That's obvious, but... uh, Well, not always, you know, some people get estranged. That's true. And we did get estranged as Mm. we uh, turned into adults. Uh, We had a bit of a contentious relationship with Mm. our mother and uh Mm. i couldn't handle it anymore and left she stayed Mm. but um when when our mother got sick i Mm -hmm. tried to reach out to her and uh it seemed to be working and i thought we were going to kind of rebuild the relationship but recently um her behavior and just our communication it's just been really kind of off-putting and i i have a few examples but generally i just have this feeling like maybe something's going to happen to her and since i'm going away uh, for this work thing um to europe i was Mm -hmm. just looking for someone to and this is what i mean by discreet like i don't want Mm. I don't like if she's not in trouble, if I'm wrong about this, if I'm just reading it all wrong, I just don't want her to know that I like hired someone to look at. That would be such an invasion of our of her privacy and it would just make me look bad. I'm just I'm really hoping we can move forward with this. So I'm just looking for someone to just make sure nothing bad happens to her. What kind of bad are we talking here? Well, I guess. So, you know, like I said, uh, our mother was sick. Mm. and we were starting to reconnect. We went to the bar together. We talked. Um, Mm -hmm. I wasn't, you know, I just didn't have it in me to be there Mm. for our mother's passing. And to be honest, I had this work thing the day, uh, the day it happened and wasn't able to do it. But I, it's just like everything changed after that. Um, like, the messages I got from her, they just seemed, they seemed like they weren't her hmm. that I was talking to. And I, I wasn't I able to like find a time where I could meet her in person. Like everything was just done over our agents, but like hmm. the way, I mean, I just know my sister and the way she was communicating with me, it just seemed like I wasn't even her. And so, okay, this is going to sound stupid, but when we were growing up, we had this word, candelabra. (sighs) We found out what it meant together and we kind of laughed about it, but it just sort of became this thing as we were kids where it was like, if we were really in trouble, you know, because like we tell on each other, we do sister things, we'd compete. Our, Our mom she kind of put us into camps. Like I was the smart one Mm. and my sister was the pretty one. Right. And she kind of, I know like parents do that, but she used it to kind of have a competition between us. Yeah. Yeah. But when, if one of us said candelabra, we both knew it, we had to, 
we had to look out for each other. Mm. And so while all of this thing, you know, for the past week where I was talking to her, I finally just messaged her, Candelabra. And she basically, I got a response that said, you know, after this weekend, we can talk about our mother's things. And it Hmm. just seemed like she'd remember that, right? And our mother never had a candelabra and I wouldn't certainly be, and I'm not, I I was giving her money. Like when her mom, when our mom was sick, you know, I was like helping to support her. I wasn't interested in getting any of the stuff off of her. right. It just, just sounded seemed, off. I see. And I'll tell you, she just recently got a boyfriend too. And I just, uh, I just don't, I never like, I met him once. How's his boyfriend character? I met him once and God, I just, I honestly can't even remember his name. I know he works at the same casino she does. A casino. Yeah. She's a croupier at uh, Viva Circuit. Viva Circuit. I think he works in security or something. But anyway, I don't know. You know. I just got a vibe off him. Like I said, just met him once. Can't remember his name. Mm. But it just seems like the kind of thing, like maybe he's taking over her life or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the way she said, like, or the way that message said, like, after this weekend, I just got thinking, like, why, why is it specific? Why this weekend? Exactly. Mm. And unfortunately, I've got this. Well, I guess while we're talking about it, I don't think things are going well at work. Hmm. And there was this thing where we could go to Europe to talk to some clients. And I may have booked one, two, three, four, five, roughly 10 job interviews over there. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to, I'm trying You're to, trying to get shit. out of here. Yeah. I see. I get it. I get it. But this all just sort of came at the same time. And, that's why I'm just looking for someone. But like I said, like I I can't shake the feeling like maybe I'm just reading this wrong. Maybe she forgot about this stupid thing that we were when we were kids and you know, it's been years. So I don't want you I don't want her to know if it's nothing. Right. But right, if it's right. something, yeah. I need someone to help her. Okay. I see. So uh, we talk about like a tailing kind of situation. I follow her for a while, make sure she doesn't see. I'm me. hoping you can figure out what I can't. Like, what's the deal yeah. here? What's going on? For sure. Without letting her know, yeah. you're investigating her, I guess. Of course. Yeah. That's, that's the idea. Yeah. yeah. I, the ideal situation for me is that this weekend goes by. Nothing happens to her Mm -hmm. and we can just move on from here and we can figure out. And so I know what's happening. If it's nothing, I want to know. If it's something Mm -hmm. I want to know. Absolutely. That's totally understandable. I think uh, we can do that for you for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, Do you have any questions? Anything you need to know from me? Uh, Basically, uh, I, yeah, I think I know the Viva Circuit uh, Casino. do you know where she hangs out outside of work, if anywhere? Mm. Um, well, we went to this bar together. Uh, bronze Sunrise, I think. Okay. The Bronze. I know that place. She might hang out there. I mean, she suggested it. Mm-hmm. All right. And the boyfriend, do you know what their situation is? Are they living together or? I don't th- no, she wasn't living with him. I no. know that they work he also works at, at the, the Viva casino. Circuit yeah. and his name is something like Dorbin. <laughs> that's Dorbin. not right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's uh okay. I that's not too bad. I I can probably figure that one out on my own. I spelt it Dorbin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And um, so I won't be available. Like I said, even like no communication. Well, I'll I'll be able to call you guys sometime between my job interviews. But right. Right. Really, if there's anything you need to know from me, just ask me now. Well, is there an emergency line I can call you at if anything does come up? You know, I'm really hoping that you can on the fly make the right decision because I'm I'm probably not going to be available to let you know. 
So I'm just depending on you All to, right. well, like I said, I'm just, I guess, think about it. Like, I want you to be her guardian angel this weekend. Make okay. sure nothing happens to her. If, yeah. if I could even be, have any time to, to do this, I would. And I, I mm-hmm. might, if I have some time, I'll, I'll call you guys to check up on it, but. Sure. Okay. It's going to be like, because I'm still working and then yeah, I've got to yeah. run off to these interviews. I see. I see. I see. Busy lady. I'm yeah. hoping that they're going to spiral into other opportunities. And sure. I really need out. I don't know uh, mm-hmm. how what, much I What opportunities say. are you looking for in particular? Just I'm, out of curiosity. Well, I work in uh, accounting mm-hmm. uh, over at... The DMS Arcology. DMS Arcology. I see. Yeah. And uh, let's just say I'm very close to the numbers. Mm. And I think it's time for me to find a new job. Hmm. So you, uh, you're you not feeling uh, secure, let's say, at your new job, at the, this DMS. Job. No, hmm. not so much. I see. Mm-hmm. Would you like to explain why, or you want to just leave that confidential for now? Rule conversation. Yeah. That's a pretty good conversation. Seven plus. Oh my God. Okay. Seven plus 16. <laughs> oh, okay. <Wow>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to let that roll. If. Slide for any other questions that you want to ask. (laughs) Okay, yeah. Pinnacle has kind of completely changed a little bit and is is in the the throngs of the Columbia charm right now. Mm. Yeah, I mean, look, DMS owns Atlantic City Mm -hmm. and they are bleeding money right now oh is that so yeah um i never would have figured yeah i know but uh we are in the red seriously (laughs) here and i don't know what that means for this place but right right, i can't imagine it being any worse so i want to get out and i'm hoping to have enough of a relationship with my sister after all of this to try to convince her to come to Europe with me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. That I'm going to be sense. popping on trains, mm-hmm. going overnight, mm-hmm. popping pills to stay up all night in oh, order to meet well, yeah, of with as many people as I can. You might want to be careful there, but um, I mean, it's just. I figure it's just like just get through the weekend, get sure. get some sort of job over there, okay, and then jump ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you, you don't uh you wouldn't know anything more about uh the situation there like do you think maybe someone might be responsible or you know just the you know the usual the bleeding of corporation the money, you think? yeah corporate corruption I think that deal. They, well, I mean from what I understand they put everything into trying to turn this into some sort of European vacation spot yeah yeah i could definitely see that the war kind of threw a wrench into that Mm. and now money is just kind of going off books you Uh, know and if we had any sort of functional police (laughs) i bet they would be (laughs) really don't get me started about the police here (laughs) in where that money is going right but the money is going and you know uh i guess that's also i'm just worried Mm. You know, if the feds look at the some of the things I've had to enter into the books, right? I just don't want to be there when heads no, are rolling. No, you know, no, 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 no. Okay, or even be like asked to be a whistleblower. I just want out. You know, that's like, completely understandable. Yeah, but I don't think it has anything to do with my sister. She works at Viva Circuit. It's not a DMS property. No, you no. Know, like okay. I said, I see. Yeah. Well. With that info, uh, I guess there's just one last thing. Is, uh, how do you want to be built? little half up front, half later? Well, sure. We can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, 500? That okay. Sounds good. Yeah. So I'll do it on the exchange. Mm-hmm. We'll put 250 mm-hmm. eddies down first. 
and I'll put 250 in escrow for the end of the job. And you know what? Mm. I'll also throw in another 200 in escrow in case, mm. you know, in case you have to step it up and go beyond what you were expecting. Just right. in case. But we'll save that for, we'll, we'll look at that when we figure out the circumstances. All right. Perfect. Of everything. Yeah. Can that I sounds a, good. Can I do a human perception on yeah, it? Yeah, sure. What are you trying to figure out? Yes. Yeah. Um, just so I know what kind of information you're looking for here. Um, I'm trying to figure out if she, um, is kind of like, uh, being sincere about like her fear for her sister, I guess. Sure. Right. Yeah. yeah. You can. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, that's, a that's a one. <laughs> Okay, roll <laughs> roll in the fumble. Negative four. four. Negative four. Okay. Um, I guess it's just head. No thoughts. Head empty. On <laughs> it's just like not able. Static. Not able to get a read on this uh, corporate lady. Mm. Okay. This yeah. is what I'm gonna do then. Yeah. I say to her, I got a question. Mm -hmm. Where did you get those shoes? Oh. <laughs> well. We go to Europe a lot, you know? Mm. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. So, these are actually from Shop. Milano. Wow. Okay. I am I am hoping gonna be okay so there? bad to go to Milan. <laughs> no, it's just I've never been able to go shopping abroad. And you know, I oh, would hope well, that a role would meet? take me there. What do you mean? You, you, the movies don't pay you enough? Uh, well, they just never. I've just never had the chance to travel, I guess, until oh, okay. now. But it, I guess Atlantic City isn't exactly where I was. It's not Atlantic exactly. Atlantic City the, is no Milan, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not that I would know, but. They're, they're, you wear them wonderfully. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, All right. Yeah. Well, that's my contribution. <laughs> okay. I won't hold you up uh, much longer. Yeah. This pinnacle. Um, do you, um, you want to know her name? What, like Pinnacle's name? No, no, my sister's name. Oh, you see? yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> One more thing. What's your sister's <laughs> name? <laughs> I thought you mentioned it. Oh, no. it's not. Uh, it's, it's Everest. Everest <laughs> Hollander. Maybe you get a picture of what our mother was like. <laughs> Everest Hollander. Um, Thank you. Weird question. Does she have like a place where she lives? That's not a weird question. Oh, that's thank just, God. Okay. That's, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. No, that's, yeah. Here. Um, she has an apartment in Dampton on Folsom. Here, I'll give you the address. Okay. So now we have her the address. Now you have the address to her apartment. Okay. Well, uh, I'll try to check in. Okay. Yeah. Um, good luck. You. Good luck to yeah. you. Yeah. Take care of her, but also don't ruin our relationship and no pressure and all that. And I, I got to well, get out of here. All right. I'll see ya. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. <laughs> yep. Break a leg. Um, yeah. And Pinnacle rolls out of there. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was incredible. Uh -oh. You were so just like in it, you know, like you were just, you were just. They're like asking questions and yep. being like, just, you were such, this is going to sound silly, but you're such a detective. Like you're perfect <laughs> as well, you are. Thank you. Just, uh, I certainly hope I come off as a detective. I'm sorry if I point. got like a little bit in your way there by asking about uh, oh, the no, no, shoes no, 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 no. You did where a, she lives. You did a great job. You did a great okay, job. Okay. I just wanted, I didn't want to headbutt. I didn't want to butt in too much because I know it's my first day, but uh, I, I'm already kind of getting a feel for how this works. You kind of, they, they come in with some kind of terrible problem and then we're like, no problem. Well, we got this. Well, yeah, we try to do what we can. Um, Sounds to me like this is a case of just a, a simple tailing kind of surveying. Simple tailing. Yeah. We don't want to get involved. We need discretion to be the utmost principle here. So oh, speaking of that, maybe like if it's okay with you, don't tell them that I'm an actress. 
because I'm trying to go, you know, one, I think it can help me get into character more. Like if I'm mm. like your co-detective. Mm. And the other thing is that like, I'm trying to keep a little bit of a low profile. I know I don't want to get swamped by fans. So. Yeah. Like uh, if you're so recognizable, I don't know. Like how, what, what do you want me to do if they recognize I'll you? I'll just change my hair. Like uh, oh, no big I deal. See. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of, I've heard, I've had, I've, I've you got told, that crazy tech hair. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I change it to blonde. Nice. Ah. Now I'm going to have more fun. You yeah. Know I mean? You know, that's what I hear, heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I just, yeah. I just don't don't want to be <laughs> killing Titus. <laughs> I love this. No, this is great. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. This is so good. I'm sorry. I'm trying not get. I'm trying to just not get in the way. Of it. <laughs> in a way, like I can look at you. I'm loving this. Yeah. Okay. So oh. what, what's what's first? So first, we uh we want to establish, I guess, uh, her routine. Okay. So we're gonna have to. Uh, what time is it? Three. We. It's probably uh. A bit before her sh- shift starts at the casino, if she's a croupier, their shifts start a bit later in the night. Okay. Um, so we're gonna have to maybe pay a visit to the cas- the old casino, the Vivisect. But if it's if we're just seeing her now, isn't that a little late to get like some of her routine down? You know, like she's probably already moisturized, <laughs> exfoliated. Good point. Good point. She's, she's probably at home getting ready. Yeah, she's probably done a peel bef- already. So. Sure, sure. So uh, then we should stake out the house. <laughs> okay, yeah. Great. Um, do we split up? Stay together? Oh, we should stay together. It's a simple stake <laughs> thank out. God, you thank know, God. You could, okay. I got a car. Jesus Christ! Why did I ask that? <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. No worries. Okay. All right. I'm. I'm. Let's. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Let's get started. So okay. Just, we head out. So you are going to the apartment in Folsom. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, it's a short drive through the streets of Atlantic City. Mm-hmm. Still early, but already. It's like afternoon. Yeah. yeah. The, you know, the uh, unwashed masses are beginning to move around. Mm-hmm. You see the Jersey rats, which are the size of <laughs> cats. <laughs> Jesus. Just out in full force already. Going through the garbage. <laughs> um, the, the path doesn't take you down the mm. boardwalk. Mm. You're mostly going to Dampton, which is the r- not great part of town. It's mm. the part that has been hit the most by the global warming floods. Oh. And uh, mm. it's called Dampton because it's, it's always damp. It's always damp there. Oh, oh, my God. oh I know some a little bit about being damp all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so living in an aquarium. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad I got my tech hair done because it would be <laughs> losing. It'd be out of control right now. Oh, yeah. Does yeah. it still humidity. F- it frizzes up or it's no? It used to. Uh, ah. not, now it's all, this is all fake. I, uh, I see. So you arrive at the apartment mm. um, under the cold November rain. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a large, I want to say 20-story apartment mm. that has... That is got about half a foot of water at the base. Oh, no. and uh, you're able nice. to sort of park your car on a, a bit of a ridge, but it's going to be a trek through the water if you go to the apartment. No, we're not going to go in. So yeah, yeah, we're just going to sit in the car. <laughs> okay, and some um, I'm going to use. So I got a pair of binoculars for your regular eyes, and I'm going to use my magnified eye. <laughs> oh yeah okay so what? we could just kind of stake out get a news get an old newspaper try not to look too conspicuous okay guess we- so uh roll a perception, perception. do you yeah. have a good perception uh well with this cyber eye i hope so what see. kind of a plus do i get to the with the binoculars plus two or something no you can just see further so you could make a perception roll on something that a human that is Would further than a see. human yeah. could see that's what i'm going with on okay with binoculars. yeah or, or. um i guess i'm gonna like scan the windows to see wait what what apartment you have the apartment number yeah but oh, okay it, it's really hard to deduce from outside what's mm-hmm. how the numbers would function so um. you're not going to be able to know which 
I can know at least which floor. You know which floor. Okay, so I'm going to yeah. scan the floor, I guess, with the binoculars. Okay. Mm-hmm. I rolled an, a nat 20, so. A nat 20? No, you didn't. You rolled yeah. a four. That's yeah, but my, my perception no, that's not, is. that's not a nat 20. That's so. not a nat 20. Oh, that's not. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what yeah. they call it's a, a dirty it's 20. It's a dirty 20. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We couldn't 20. get a nat 20 with a d10. No, you, you, yeah. So it's not a crit. <laughs> no. Success. You get 20 crit. in total. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. what do you have? Um, I got a um a 14. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, 21 is at the heroic level, so professional. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot that you can gather um from scanning the floor that somebody <laughs> would be on without knowing which apartment. Mm-hmm. number you're at mm-hmm. i guess you can tell that half the lights are on and half the lights are off roughly mm-hmm. uh, across the board here but um yeah there isn't a lot of info that you can just gather from looking up at the apartment even with magnification okay uh, you don't see her you also didn't get a photo of her so you don't know what she looks like. Right. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> you didn't even get a basic description of her. We didn't do that. No. No, you know her name. Mm-hmm. Well, then I'll just have to library search her up, aren't I? <laughs> yep, you could do that. Let's just go to the library then. <laughs> so I made this map of Atlantic City. Uh-huh. And I did not <laughs> put, put a, a library, library in, in there. Because <laughs> I didn't think there would be one in this dark future. There's a city hall. Yeah. Okay. I could use the city hall then. They would have a search, mm-hmm. a lab or something that I could use, right? Well, yeah. Sure. Uh, like a. <laughs> um. I guess there's a public records that public you could look records. at. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll use my library. All right. Search. So we're leaving the apartment. Yeah. And going to city hall now. Yeah. Just before we leave, mm-hmm. um, I say. Looks like the city does sleep. How was that? Was that good? Was that? I was saying because the lights, true. some of the lights are off. Yeah, it's more like looks like some people have power and some people don't. <laughs> Is that what you say that often? Um, I think it. Okay. <laughs> I just said it now. <laughs> okay, what are you rolling for? Library search. Oh well, let's go to let's out? go to the city hall. I guess, oh, okay, first. yeah. There's a scene yeah. first. Okay, right. <laughs> So we are going to City Hall. Mm -hmm. Mainly, this is a kind of fortress in which they keep the data fortress of Mm. the mayor, which is the exchange. Yeah. um, You want to explain to our listeners what the hell this (laughs) thing is? Basically, (laughs) for several years now, the de facto mayor of Atlantic City has been the exchange. And the exchange started as a way of moving money illegally uh, between parties, but then it became an over like like an all-encompassing way that people make transactions, sell things and buy things. Mm. It's all handled through the net. Um, and you also can exchange the casino currencies with dollars. Uh, you can basically buy anything. It's a lot like, I guess, the Silk Road was mm. in its heyday. If the Silk Road then went into politics. Oh, politics. Yeah. It is now officially recognized as the mayor because generally because for the longest time they'd have an intermediary that would run, but run under the platform of I'm going to do whatever the exchange Mm. decides on. Mm. But that person kept dying. Mm. Mysteriously. (laughs) Bam. Yeah. Yeah, Not so mysteriously. (laughs) Sometimes mysteriously, (laughs) other times very publicly. Publicly. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So they decided uh, to just change the law and allow this exchange to be the mayor. Um, You can basically vote on any policy Hmm. by buying votes or vote tokens through the exchange. Mm-hmm. So it's a radical form of democracy is what <laughs> sure it could be uh, posited as. 
<laughs> Basically, have you ever heard of Decentraland? It's that. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, like, that's just a thing online. This is <laughs> this is real. This is um, City Hall. A city yeah. Hall running uh, government in a city. So <laughs> the front of the uh, City Hall is mm -hmm. guarded very carefully mm -hmm. by the two strong arm forces in Atlantic City. The ACPD and the Nines. The nines are represent the criminal interest, and the ACPD represent a different criminal interest. <laughs> yeah, but they uh, don't trust each other, mm -hmm. and so there you'll often see them working alongside each other, but in their own separate camps. <laughs> so you have basically one side being guarded by a bunch of gangsters in cosplaying as nineteen mm thirties -hmm. gangsters, right? And a bunch of cops on the other side. The cops are the APD? ACPD. Oh, ACPD. Atlantic yeah. City Police yeah. Department. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Arasaka used to handle all security mm -hmm. in here, but since the war and their expulsion from the United States, mm. other agencies like the police force and the mob has taken over as the, you know, the security. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So it, here you are at the I forgot city to hall. Put, okay, I was going to roll my streetwise to see if I know these people in front of the city hall, but I didn't put my base stat there for a streetwise for some reason. Mm. So just like if you know who they are? are as people. Yeah, like oh, okay. it's Joe over yeah, there or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Sure. 7 plus What's the it's the cool, right? Mhm. Mm 6 how does this work? What? What? So what's your cool? Six. Six? And you rolled a seven? Yeah. And but then what, what like what? What's your streetwise? My st but my streetwise is like. What? It's like a bait. That's like one of the base, but right? What's the number here? Do I don't you know. add anything to it? You don't, you don't have anything? I, don't, I guess not. Okay. So, so it's then just it's six. just six plus seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Let me think. Uh, do you know anyone? I should. I feel like. It's um, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not. Not well. On friendly no. terms. But I guess you've seen one of the police officers before. Okay. Don't remember his name. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? Are you just I'm, going? Uh, <laughs> going up and being like, I got a. I got a library search. I got a new, a new case. Uh, okay. I'm uh, the person who guards the door. So you want to go in? Yeah. Okay. Do you have like identification? Yep. I have my card, PI. Mm. You're a police. I mean, you're a detective. Yeah. Mm. I used to work with you guys. You know. Mm, did you? ACPD, yep. You remember me? <laughs> Lindsay, I thought you used to work for Arasaka. Isn't that what we said? Or yeah, is you it, did. Is it, it the was, police? I thought, AC, you're oh, Arasaka, yeah. I thought the Arasaka was the de facto police. They dogs. were. And yeah, then... they were, but this is a different oh. bunch of people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, never mind then. When Arasaka got expelled, Arasaka was like the security force for the casinos. And then when they got expelled, mm. the underfunded police department had to take over. Had to take over. Oh, I see. And suddenly okay, got mind. Yeah. militarized. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you don't yeah. have any friends. On no, the I don't have any yeah. friends. Okay. <laughs> you can, okay. Um, weapons? Nope, none. Yes. Okay. Me, me neither. You don't have any weapons? No. All Does right. she look like she got weapons? I mean, I don't know what people look like. Do have <laughs> just get out. All right. Okay. Just go. <laughs> okay, go in. We go inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. You go through a weapon scanner yeah. when you go Fuck. into the. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you lied about that. Did you lie about having weapons? Yeah. I have a yeah. Gun. I have a gun on. Okay. Me. <laughs> well, I guess it goes off. And mm. uh, oh, you you carry. Oh, hey, it's this. me again, the cop. Uh, <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of 
kind of a scary town and I'm just so nervous about it, all mm. the uh, guns that everyone's got around right. here. And I just thought this thing's barely a weapon. And I, sh- I show my like little gun. <laughs> little pistol. So I'll let you do one of two things here. Well, three <laughs> things. You could, This could be a conversation. This mm-hmm. could be a persuasion or this could be your special skill mm. of trying to win people over. Win people over who might be fans of you. Yeah. Mm, oh, okay. So that last one. Okay. Do you have the role in front of you? Do you know what you have to do? Do? Yeah, what your skills are. My role ability is rank four. Yeah. Okay. You're going to roll your charismatic impact plus a D10. So I don't know what my charismatic impact is. I guess it's a... It's a rank four. So. A rank four. So yeah, it's just four? It's just four. Hmm. Okay. And it's a DV8, apparently. That's right. Okay. Plus a D10. Four plus four. <laughs> Just yeah. did it. Just squeezed it. Just squeezed it in. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Um, you know, that happens, you know. Yeah. You I know, mean, like, uh, yeah. An actress has got to protect herself, especially with all these oh. wild fa- fans that might come out of the woodwork. Oh, uh, you'd be surprised what kind of sickos live in this town, you know? They'd kind of have all sorts of impure thoughts about you. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of thing. Like, gotta gotta watch out for that. Yeah, don't you don't have to tell me about uh, it. Oh, you're such a gentleman. Thank I, you yeah. so much. No, no problem. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just hold on to this for you while you. Uh, oh, go that's in not here. necessary. Well, you it? can't take it. You can't take a gun into. You want to take a gun into city hall? <laughs> no, yeah, you, you could, you'll be fine. It's gonna, don't worry about yeah, like, uh, it. That that we're just doing. You don't want to do that. Sort of Trust me, search. you don't want to. You don't want to no, do that. No, no, no. Yeah, no, of course not. It'll just be right here. I'll take care of it for you. Of course yeah. not. It's you know, it's got my initials in the handle. So be oh careful. yeah, yeah, there they are. Just LL. <laughs> LL. <laughs> LL. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, I like kind of um, like immediately turn the charm off as soon as I hand the gun over and look kind of disgusted. <laughs> uh, he doesn't notice. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's well, do a search. You enter into City Hall. Uh, there is, I guess, a really nice part that leads up to the central data force. Mm-hmm. Or data fortress. And then there's the crummy part that's left over from when this was a functioning <laughs> city hall where I guess records are kept. Yeah, that's where I'll go. Yeah. Okay. So, library search. This will take time, no matter what you do. I'm okay. going to say this is going to take about an hour. Okay. It'll take us to about 4.30. 4 plus 12, 16. I think. 16 in total? Yeah. Okay, let me see. My little handy chart. Okay, so here is what you get. We are looking at city records, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You have um, statements of income for Everest Hollander. Mm -hmm. You also have something that's been filed recently as in just at the beginning of the month, Mm. which is a statement from the uh, company that owns the apartment she's living in, that it is not an eviction notice, but it is a statement that Mm. rent was not received on time. And it is the first step towards an eviction notice. Mm -hmm. She has a a grace period in which to pay her rent, but uh, there's no other uh, defaults on rent on record. Just this one, which is brand new, filed on November the 2nd. Mm. So she's not doing great. <laughs> Her statements of income uh, reveal that she basically became a croupier after the war. Mm. And before that was making sort of scattered money in the entertainment field as a model. Really? She was making money as a being a model? Yes. Where? Does it say? Uh, it's just, um, this is just a statement of income. So it just has 
like a modeling agency has mm. written checks for her. Oh shit! Do you would would you know her? <laughs> I mean, it depends where she modeled and what what for. I don't. The name doesn't remi- ring a bell or anything. But you can roll a concentration. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Why don't I do that instead of deny that I do? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know her. That's fine, but you may know her. Okay, here we go. All right, six plus twelve. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a yeah, a um, nineteen. A nineteen. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So you do remember being on a oh, job. Eighteen. Sorry. Oh, disregard what I said. Fuck, no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's you, fine. It's over the seventeen. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but yeah. Um, so you do remember being on a job with a couple of other ladies. Mm-hmm. And you remember a young lady named Everest because mm-hmm. the name kind of stuck out. Mm-hmm. Um, and you have a vague recollection of her appearance. Okay. She uh, is or would be now around just turning 30. Mm-hmm. And uh, she, you, I guess you also have in her statements of income, you know that she is 30 years old. Mm-hmm. But yeah, blonde lady. Uh, mm. good looking mm-hmm. uh, but on her way to sort of aging out mm-hmm. of the modeling gigs mm-hmm. got a pivot to acting <laughs> she pivoted to <laughs> to croupier <laughs> cards yeah. yeah um yeah I say oh my god I do fucking know her wow. pretty girl a little bit older than me uh, worked at a shoot. I think it was, um, it was for something. I think it was for, it was for e-cigarettes. That's right. Oh, where was this? Um, where? Yeah. <sighs> Do you remember? New York, I think. New York. Huh. Sure. Yeah. That would be close. Yeah. 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 It was in New York and she's got blonde hair. Okay. She's, um, pretty, of course. I don't know what else to tell her. Tell you, I could, I could probably pick her out if I saw her. All right. Well, that's true. You probably could. Mm-hmm. There's also Recognized. one other thing in mm-hmm. the records, which is the record of her mother and Pinnacle Mother's death. Mm. Holland, Miss Hollander's. Death. Yeah, Miss Holland's death, which happened. On the 21st of October. Mm. Okay. And her name is Mary Lou Holland. Uh, That's all the information you've got out of that library search. Okay, cool. Yeah, pretty fruitful, though. Yeah. Yeah, surprisingly. Okay. All right. So, she's not doing well uh, financially. I mean, who is? Am I right? (laughs) <laughs> well, her statements of income do not indicate that she'd have a problem paying, paying rent. rent. She mm. has she has pretty consistent work as a croupier. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Where would that where would that rent money be going? I wonder. That's true. Like anyone could have a vice or yeah. something else like that. But yeah, and she also has never missed a payment until this month, mm. or at least it wasn't reported. But it seems like. Uh, I'll give you this one for free, hmm. like an like a landlord. Oh company yeah, I can like get this. one for free, can I? That's my word no, no, on the street. We'll do that later. <laughs> oh, this is, this won't count as that. Okay. Yeah, that's after you've been in. We'll we'll get into that when okay. it shows up, but you have to be investigating for four hours in order oh. for that to to come into play. Okay. And we've been investigating you for an hour. hour and a half. <laughs> oh, an hour yeah, and a half. Hour yes. and a half. Yes. So yes, what I was saying was that that agency. That like landlord company would automatically mm. trigger a uh, file and file yeah. a thing with the the com- yeah with yeah. Uh, city hall the minute that rent wasn't received on the sure, first sure okay well hmm. she also was hooked up with an automatic paying thing and mm. it failed to pay right rather than so. just automatic deposit yeah yeah. 
All right, something again through the definitely, exchange. yeah, def- definitely something's been uh, changing over there. We got to find out more about this boyfriend. Uh yeah, Dorbin. Dorbin. <laughs> did, did you did anything come up for Dorbin? Yeah, let's do. Let's search Dorbin. Let's search for the first name Dorbin. <laughs> Give it a roll. This, this one's on me. No, <laughs> you know I'll do it. I got the skills. Eight, eight plus twelve, <laughs> so that's twenty. I'm gonna say, fifty years ago, there was a man named Dorbin. Dorbin oh, Carmichael. There was a man named Dorbin. Dorbin Carmichael. It's the only Dorbin <laughs> ever recorded in Atlantic his Atlantic City history okay. as far as the records go. So that one was fruitless. Yeah. And it may have been a it may have been a misspelling because <laughs> it looks like uh the the record's quite old and it's there was a bit of a, a problem with the photocopy. <laughs> Okay, nothing on Dorbin. Eh? No, I mean not well, nothing. It could be just dating you know, a really a good, old person. A it's vampire. a good suggestion. It's a good suggestion. Yeah, you got yeah. good instincts. We got to so be that thorough. Took, that did take time. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's now been another. It's now two and a two half and hours. Hour. Fuck. <laughs> so now it's like five thirty. <laughs> it's five thirty now. Okay. Um, would I know whether like when they change shift the croupier? Um, or that would be streetwise. That'd be streetwise. Streetwise, right? probably. Or local expert. Ooh, oh, local I expert. Critted. Yeah. Could... A critted. Okay, oh. so that's twelve plus local expert, fourteen. <laughs> so they have very strange hours, right? Mm. So they basically have people that work the day shift, and then people that work sort of the midnight midnight shift okay you can see by her statements of income Mm. that she's a midnight shifter Mm. so her shift is basically from 9 p.m to Mm. 9 a.m okay Mm. i see okay Okay. so we got some time before she starts work you have some time before she starts work okay so uh i guess we'll just um we can hit up the bar i guess it's it is happy hour maybe her boyfriend's at the bar okay yeah so let's go to that bronze what was it bronze sunset. bronze sunrise, sunrise. Yeah. yeah you called it the bronze the bronze the bronze sure some people call it that why not <laughs> <laughs> as we're driving there i'm just like so do, also got i got my gun back right Mm-hmm. Your gun back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Here it is. I, I held on to it for you. Thanks. <laughs> Made sure that... Uh, <laughs> Just grab it and leave. <laughs> yeah. Don't even give him an autograph <laughs> yeah. or anything. <laughs> it smelled so nice. <laughs> oh, it's good to know I you. Smell your gun. I love your work. <laughs> it got me through the war. I just, I just like walk and I just turn to, her, to, to Columbia and I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, <laughs> then I'm like, why don't you carry a weapon? Why don't I carry a weapon? Because I don't need to carry a weapon. We're not going out there shooting people. That's not. Let me get you know, get one thing straight about this shadow and gig. Right? You can carry your weapon if you want, but in this detective agency, it's people first. We got to solve the crime, and we got to do it in a compassionate empathetic and and um what's the word <laughs> I can't think of it. wow there goes my speech um, <laughs> <laughs> basically we we don't want to use weapons in our line of work okay wow yeah i, mean, I know it's a bit uh it's a bit out there it's a bit off the wall for this, for no, t- this Atlantic is great. City, but this is, I'm, I'm learning. Ethical. So much. That's the word. Ethical. <laughs> we want to be ethical about the way we solve these cases. Then, wow. which means we don't just go around shooting people. Okay, I'll try. And not we to. find ways to resolve disputes in, you know, a level-headed manner. Mm-hmm. So, the Bronze Sunrise mm. is a small basement bar. You have to sort of go around back and go down. A set of stairs. Um, it's near Monopoly Park. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's right on the board, like right off the boardwalk. So uh, it's kind of like in the basement of one of the sort of abandoned places of the boardwalk. And 
you get to look at the boardwalk for the first time and it's not very happening around this season. It's off season mm-hmm. here, mm-hmm. but uh, people are still out and about. You got your regular bar flies. Yeah, yeah. you can't drive on mm-hmm. the boardwalk, but there are these sort of small four wheel vehicles that the uh, ACPD mm-hmm. travel on mm-hmm. and doing their rounds. The water level has risen. Uh, there are a couple artificial beaches that are created, mm-hmm. and you're around the area of um, Chicken Bone Beach, which is still being kept uh, as a beach. Um, but this is sort of where the bar, I mean, sort of where the nice, nice-ish part of the boardwalk tails off. Mm. And it's closest to the uh, the Nines Casino, mm. which is the one that is run by the mob. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, it's, a, it's one of these kind of speakeasy kind of joints where you have to go down the stairs, mm. knock on a door and get let in. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I would I would have something on that. Like I'd be able to have a local expert and know how to get in. Uh, you can roll. Yeah, yeah I'll roll. Sure. Local expert on that. Eh, not great. It's like 16. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh yeah, this is this isn't it's not like It's not super. Expensive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, yeah, you just knock on the door, they look at you, mm. and then they let you in, yeah. basically. They just want to make sure you're not, they're just going to look not you over. Not like the feds or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay. you enter into the Sunrise Bar. Mm-hmm. This bar is kind of unusual. It's run by a lady who is behind the bar, mm. um, and sitting at the bar is a full conversion Borg. Hmm. which is someone who has had their entire Mm. body uh, revamped by cybernetics. It's something that happened quite a bit during the fourth corporate war. Mm. Um, They're sitting there in an army Mm t-shirt and fatigue pants, Mm -hmm. uh, just nursing a beer uh, completely alone. Um, And roll a perception, both of you. Sure. (laughs) <laughs> Why am I rolling so bad? Oh, nineteen. Yeah, mine is um twenty uh twenty five. Wow. You both notice that there is a small, I guess you would call it almost like memorial or shrine hmm. to this particular soldier's work in the war. Oh, this uh, full conversion Borg. So uh, they have a special. You notice also that the stool has a little bit of decorum around it. So <laughs> this person is a revered person mm, decorated at this bar and decorated. That, yeah. yeah. Okay. I lied. It was a 15. I'm sorry. I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> people to be like, what the hell? I, 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 you stop telling me you wrong numbers? I added, ten, yeah. I added 10 to it. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's It's not hidden. Yeah. No, okay. it's pretty yeah. obvious. So you notice that. So there's like a shrine to... To, to the, the board. To the board. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wild. Wild. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Uh, I go up to him and I say, "Hey, um, good work on that. Good work in the war." <laughs> the bartender. You did a great job. <laughs> the bartender <laughs> That's so goes. <laughs> Oh, uh, that you know, Charlie doesn't say much these days, but I'm sure he appreciates it. Well, that's great. I'll buy them around on me. Abs- okay, thank you yeah. so much. I'll mark that on my little My brother did tap. so well, and we're all so proud of him. <laughs> okay. Wow. What is that, like five euro or ten euro bucks for a pint? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Call it ten, ten. euro bucks. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'll talk to the barkeep. I'm saying like, so uh, is it usually you know, busy around this time? Oh, we're struggling, if I'm honest. Yeah. You know, yeah a lot of people like go into the big the big joints or they drink in the casinos. Yeah. You know, yeah. they they really well, we're hanging in there. They really bleed you dry in those places. Can I get you both something? Yeah. I'll have a margarita. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'll just have a synth beer. Synth beer. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's t- Twenty euro dollars. Okay. I got this. <clears throat> Plus oh. tip. 
I, that's me saying it. She didn't ask you for a tip, but okay, tips are expected. So twenty five euro bucks. Thank, thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, twenty five. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna help. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of so course. much appreciated. Yeah. And also, we got to be more local. You know, like th- like these places are. You know, going. I under. agree. You mm. know, Atlantic City's got to look out for Atlantic City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see a lot of, uh, you know, action and on the weekends or anything. I know it's oh, the weekday. People but... getting stabbed all the time. Oh no! Excuse me. Yeah, dying. Okay. Overdoses. They die in 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 here. Oh, they die. You know, no. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, we um we try to be careful. <laughs> We do we do serve echo here. Ah, I yeah. Get it. Yeah, I see. I mean we have to just to be competitive, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Echo, not to huh? any yeah. Cool. That's you, cool. Is it? Yeah. You want to try some? Um I'm <laughs> um you don't want to try that. Let me tell you. No? No, it's a it's a wild trip. Not unless you need to. Don't okay. don't start now. <laughs> That's what I, I will say. Not. You, you, I'll knew pass the, on the you echo. Knew Atlantic City? I'm kind of new, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just oh, from out so of great. town. A tourist. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Off season, no. You come no to less. you come to gamble? Um, some might say uh, <laughs> I'm gambling on my career a little bit, but oh, yes. Hmm. I don't quite follow. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. It's just We're a gonna little, be hitting okay. up the casinos later. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Be, for yeah. sure. For sure. I'll give I'll give you a little tip. Mm. Viva circuit. Vivisir. Yeah. Mm. People are saying they got something new in the works there. Oh. circuit. New as in uh, gambling? Yeah, new game. Ah, you know what it's called? Um, it's got something to do with space. Space. Huh. Space. Something. Space. <laughs> something about space. Space invaders or? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Okay. It's one of them brain dance games ah, i see i see let me ask you a question here sure yeah does the name dorbin ring a bell dorbin <laughs> no 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 like a doorbell no nah, we don't got we don't got nothing no nah. no you don't nah to be honest no no <laughs> didn't think so this is a mess <laughs> Have never heard of a Dorbin. No, it's an unusual <laughs> name. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I'm gonna go uh, hit. I'm gonna go schmooze a little bit. I go. Are there there's other like, people? There's, like there's four only people in this place. Okay. Okay. What a, can I see? Like, who? Who? Does any of them stand out to me other than this? Um, the full convert Borg. Yeah. Um, what would be a good role for a vibe check on this place? <laughs> um, Human perception, probably. Uh, no, I'm gonna go with Streetwise. Actually, streetwise. I think Streetwise is the right mm-hmm. one here. Okay, you can both make it if you sure. want. If you're interested, Seven. four plus. Okay, that is a sixteen for real this time. Sixteen for real? Yes. <laughs> How about? I didn't make that one up this time. <laughs> Minus thirteen. By accident. Thirteen? Yeah. I don't. I thought I put points into the street. I don't know. Thirteen's enough still. Yeah. So. The impression that you are getting from the full range of this, and also when you start to look at the other customers here, is that this is sort of a veteran's hangout. Mm. It's a place where people uh, who probably were in some specific division inside Mm. of the fourth corporate war, specifically Mm. working for the U.S. uh, Army Mm. and not for Militech, are... um, they're the OG vets. <laughs> yeah, the o- yeah, exactly. So they are, uh, it's, yeah, so it doesn't really attract mm. th- these type of places. Don't Number one. Huge crowd. Yeah, um, they can be pretty lively as people recount war stories. Mm-hmm. But uh, at this time of day, it's more just the daytime drinkers kind of mm. uh, sitting there alone or with a buddy. Mm. Sipping on their smashes. Mm. So I'm going to d- deduce that like this boyfriend character is probably a vet if he hangs around here. It's possible. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, I go up to Columbia mm-hmm. and I say a whisper in her ear. 
I'm going to try something. What? Oh. And then um, I make my hair blonde. I guess it was already blonde. It was already blonde. 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 Yeah, you made it blonde (laughs) before. And then I also ask her. You make it a shade blonder? Yeah, a shade blonder. Like platinum. And I also (laughs) ask her, what's what's her job again? What's what's Everest's job again? She's croupier. What does a croupier got to do to have a little bit of a party before her midnight shift over here? I say that like a little too loud. Okay. Mm. So roll your charismatic impact mm. on okay. a small group of fans. Okay. Oh, not great. No. That's a, that's they a would two. remember you, though. They would recognize you if you're in What'd you like, roll propaganda. I rolled a two plus four. So no, that's like a six. That's not even enough for one. I know. <laughs> wow. That's like crickets on that one. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Damn. Okay. It doesn't stir. Can I, it doesn't stir anything. I guess, yeah. No, no. sorry. That's a fail. Mm, yeah. yeah, you're right. You just, that's fair. The vibe was off. Okay. I'm like, yeah. Everyone's place, too tired. I just, no, I just go, yeah, this place is fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's nursing their hangovers at this point. It's too early. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That, uh... Nothing happened there. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, if I if I go on this lead that this boyfriend is a is a war vet, if he uh, hangs around here, and and he also works at the at the Vivis Circuit, mm-hmm. then he must be on the same shift uh, as Everest, right? I I don't know. Otherwise, he'd be here, right? I I don't know. Maybe he is here. Hmm. Should we ask about Everest with the bar with the bartender? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Do you know? Lead, lead the way. <laughs> do you know? Uh, oh, hey, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what uh, uh, Everest Everest Hollander? The mountain? No, the person. Yeah, she's got an unusual name. Uh, I don't know. Nah, his name's not, uh, not ringing, ringing any, any bells. bells. Yeah. So. She kind of looks a little bit like me, like, like blonde, you, yeah, blonde, pretty. Pretty. I mean, not to be vain, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a it model. You got it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there was someone the other day in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that was weeks ago. Yeah. Weeks hmm. ago. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think she came here a couple of times with like another lady. Black hair. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that must be your sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They kind of had a bit of a bit of resemblance. I could see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They just uh, came for a regular drink? Nothing out of the ordinary? Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Make a conversation roll. Oh, my God. I'm rolling so bad. It's a good thing my conversation's incredible. It's 18. <laughs> I'm also going to roll a human perception when she says nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. That's better. Ooh. It's a human perception. Seven plus 13. So I guess what she you get from the human perception first mm-hmm. is slow. that... She was just a little, she's a little reticent to just talk about other customers. Okay. You know? She doesn't know what your she's not, line of inquiry uh, is. She doesn't want okay. to get anyone in trouble. Right. So that's kind of her worry here. And okay. what was your conversation? My conversation was 18. 18. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I do remember she came in here with a guy <laughs> um, also. He a local? Yeah, I mean, I think I've seen him a couple of times, you know, <laughs> Asian fellow, don't know his name. No. Nah. Okay. Yeah. They seem kind of sweet on each other. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. And then I think, yeah, okay. I remember, I think she was talking to another guy at some point. I don't know. I didn't. Yeah. I don't know. It seems strange. You know, I'd never seen that guy before. Was it, would you, what, what was the vibe? Like, were they having a business meeting kind of situation or was it a double date? They were over in the corner talking real quiet. Hmm. 
And I think I heard like a word. Engram? Engram. Hmm. Engram? Interesting. Engram. Engram. Something from... I mean, I remember people talking about that a lot. What's Engram? Do you have... Um, yeah. This is actually Concentration, some, maybe? I don't think it would take much. So no. you just don't need to. Okay. I'll, yeah. So actually, this is kind of general knowledge, I would say. Mm -hmm. During the height of the Fourth Corporate War, mm -hmm. Arasaka was using something called the Soul Killer Virus in order to whoa, <laughs> take over, like to basically turn people into vegetables. And it would capture their... They're they're essentially like their soul, their person, but mm. into da data. Oh, so, like digital consciousness. Digital consciousness, yeah. and that thing mm. that is holding them is called an engram. Whoa! So it seems way off base here. Yeah. Jeez, I wonder what they got to do with engram. I don't know. Like I said, they were talking real quiet, and the guy seemed kind of shifty. <laughs> Did he seem corporate? No. No. He seemed kind of What's the what's the word I'm looking for? Just a little shady to me. Shady. You know? Mobby. Yeah. No, not mob. No. Hmm. Those guys they dress real flashy. Yeah. You seemed like you didn't really want want to be yeah. picked out. Oh, I see. I see. And she seemed real distressed. Huh. Like I think she was holding back tears. Oh. Well, that's too but bad. She was, she was real interested in what he had to say. Not her boyfriend, though. Hmm. Or the guy I think is her boyfriend. Right. Seen them a couple of times. Yeah. Hung out together, you know? Mm -hmm. I think they kind of come here every now and then on their days off. I see. I mean, mostly for pre-drinking. Yeah. You know? They're not a- I don't think this is their yeah, like- This isn't the scene. This isn't the spot. This is just get a couple- It's a little nice, quiet- Like, I know what- this is it's a nice, quiet place yeah, to have a yeah, couple of drinks of before you go out and party, you know? Mm, I see. Okay. Where do people party around here? Yeah, where do people party oh, around here? The casinos. Yeah. Mm. I can't imagine they would be partying at Viva Circuit if they worked there, though, would they? Mm. You know, you'd be surprised. It's huge, right? Mm. Lots of different places. Yeah. So you work in one place, you could go somewhere else. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe they go to Caligula's. That place is real popular. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, find out how, where yeah, where to take my- You uh, don't mind. What's your interest in all this? Asking oh, about her. We used I, to work together. Yeah. They used to work together and she wants to meet up with a friend and find out what they do. Yeah. Like to party. She's yeah. out of town or so I'm showing her around. It's been a while. I'm, you know, out of town. Want to come here and see an old friend. That's all. Roll- a persuasion. Yeah. Actually, you no, liar. Well, I'll roll persuasion. <laughs> you roll you, you can't roll the persuasion because you didn't say that. Oh. Lucy said that. Oh. Nine. Ooh. Okay. Plus persuasion, which isn't too shabby. Okay. Yeah. 14 plus nine. So 23. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me know if you guys have any more questions. You, you want another round? Yeah, sure. I'll okay. do t my limit is two. <laughs> Another twenty five yeah. euro yeah. dollars if you're giving her down. the same tip. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all I in all slam mine. <laughs> let's say that half an hour has passed, so we're at the three hour mark. It's now six PM. All right, cool. I thought there'd be more like fights, like fist fights and stuff. Well, not at like six. Yeah. Not okay. in a, not in a veteran's bar. With not everyone. in a vet's bar. <laughs> Just like yeah. as a detective, I feel I thought there'd be more shooting chases. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I'm telling well, you. We, you know we do this ethically. This is actually great because I people love when like you pivot to a very serious character study. So this is amazing. Yeah. Tell me a bit about your film. What are you... What's it about? Or is it all under wraps? Well, it's an indie. <laughs> the script is still being worked on. Uh, um, and uh, it's got uh, a big, big names are interested. Big names. Big but names? I've like Keanu Sleeves or Lady Gaga? 
I think uh, I think they're looking for someone a little bit less known for that kind of stuff, for this kind of stuff. And I mean, I'm 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 well known. Not like but you. I'm not, yeah, no piano you're well known. You, you know, so yeah. I love that you guys are having this conversation. <laughs> just this like dead dead ass veterans bar. <laughs> it's just like, the, like <laughs> perfect. <laughs> What's your move? Though? All right, we are. Um, <sighs> guess where i'm gonna i'm going to deduce okay is that like how does deduction work does, well, do i just like roll have it? a bunch of different yeah things. I, I think yeah. that you would say like I'm i have a bunch to, of clues okay yeah, so here. what are you what are you trying to deduce I guess? okay so i'm trying to deduce why um everest was like having this conversation in this bar secretively and it was upset at the time and I think, and they brought up something called Ngram, yeah. which is, you know, a digital consciousness of someone and their mom recently died. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe they, they did something where they uploaded her consciousness to an Ngram or, or bef before she died. Okay. And they had to like pull the plug or something. So I, yeah, just basically I'm trying to deduce like if those things are connected. Okay. Roll your deduction. Yeah. Yes, Whoa. crit. 11 plus deduction, which is 14, so 25. So that's really good roll. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you as much as I can. Okay. So you don't know when this conversation took place. No. Right? You know that her mom died on October 21st. The 21st. Yeah. So it's possible that she's like, it does sort of line, line up, up with what yeah, she was saying. Timeline. She was distressed at the time, which mm -hmm. would seem like someone who was losing a loved one. Mm -hmm. And the engram mm -hmm. would seem like a, like something that would sound really great mm -hmm. in order to, you know, preserve your to loved, preserve your yeah. loved one. But yeah. here's the reality. Mm. That level of technology is not, not going to be found mm. here in the dingy Jersey streets. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think so. Does that mean that someone wasn't trying to, you know, like, I guess you can take Rip her off. Maybe or? you could take what you want from that, mm. I suppose, but it does. Yeah. I mean, it would, I guess what you've deduced is that it would sound very promising. The idea of being able to preserve your loved one. Mm -hmm immortally mm -hmm. using this technology that was initially meant as sort of a horrific a thing, weapon, a yeah. weapon of war. Yeah. Right. And it'd also be like pretty high stakes to try yeah. and gain that technology, I guess. So that would, or pretty, or, yeah, it's like, yeah. A, it's like a, it's like a closely a, guard. It was a closely yeah, guarded military Irisaka secret. Yeah. Secret. It was yeah. their secret weapon and Militech. If someone had that ability. Mm -hmm. No wonder they're shifting. <laughs> yeah. Well, they would also just, wouldn't be selling it to someone, someone on a croupier's salary. salary. Yeah. They would be uh, selling it to governments or corporations for for a lot, a, a lot, lot of, money. of money. Yeah, and also in a lot of danger just by knowing that. Mm. So but that makes me think of now. That makes me think of um, the the sister. How she was saying that she was close to the numbers at the DMS, mm. and she's nervous about that job. Mm. Hmm. It's hard to imagine, though, why digital media mm -hmm. systems, a, a company primarily known for news, news, entertainment, and gambling, would be sinking a lot of money into, into Engram. Engrams, Technology, which is yeah. which hmm. was part of, like a big part of the Fourth Corporate War. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I can't get that far yet, but I think, no, you just don't have enough. No, info, I don't have enough there. But but that's what you've gotten. Yeah. So then the next step, I guess, would be to figure out who in Atlantic City would have access to something like Engram. What I've told you is that basically no one would. Mm -hmm. Other than that shifty guy that was seen in the bar. I'm saying that doesn't, it's that doesn't enough. track. You know, right. so, what you've deduced is that that doesn't track. No. Like, so if someone had Engram, they wouldn't be selling it to someone making a working class no. salary in a shifty bar. Mm -hmm. Okay, but so we got a little little. The city is wrinkle. known for mm. gambling. Mm -hmm. It's known for sexual tourism, and it's known for the grift. 
Mm. So yeah, she's probably being grifted then is where I'm going with this. Okay. So then who would, who is claiming, I guess, who would be claiming to have access to engrams? Hmm. Yeah. And who would, um, I figure we'll, we're talking about this in character. <laughs> sure. And who, and who would, um, who would a croupier know? No. No. To talk to you, like how yeah. would how, how would where's she, their connection there? Yeah, how would she get hooked up with someone who's grifting her about, about this, this engram thing? <sighs> and does the fact that she's a model play into this at all? Yeah, like does do you know? I know you didn't really know her that well, but did you know if she had you know any vices? You know, I I know this entertainment biz can be a bit seedy, and people ha- need need to take drugs to cope. Did you know anyone in the industry like that? Was she a part of it? If you know anything. Should I roll concentration? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or, um, this is 16. 16? Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the question is, have you ever partaken in any of the vices of entertainment business? Mm. Definitely. Definitely. So, so you, you would ha- know then. You yeah. have this memory. That it's up to you how you want to share this of you and a couple of the girls doing some doing some uh, synth coke synth coke Mm -hmm. in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Everest did not partake. Hmm. No, I mean, um, I I I get I got the feeling from her that she wouldn't (laughs) she wouldn't want to do drugs. All right, so she that, was pretty straight edge then. Yeah, I see. Hmm. Okay, then that theory's out the window. Well, I'm getting kind of worried about this girl. Look, yeah. I know I'm not supposed well, to. We, I'm not supposed to get personally invested. Well, in no case. one said you don't got to be personally invested. You know. Oh no. I think actually, uh, you know, opposite to what the what is, people like to say about detecting. I think it's important to have somewhat of a personal interest. Okay, good. Because I feel like I am like, like she is part of me, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and I, I feel like she's in a lot of danger. Like she's going to, mm-hmm. if she's being scammed and there's things being talked about, like your soul being put into a thing. And then she, the her sister was like, she didn't sound like her. It's like one of the things that we're pressured to do as models and and act and actors and shit like that is like our bodies, oh. our currency, you know, we sell our, our bodies. Oh, you know what? You're so right. I didn't think about it like that. Well, I mean, I I've been in, I've, I've been in that situation, you know, people wanted to, wanted to get my likeness mm. before I left the whole pinup thing. And yeah, I know I, that digital, uh, you know, they they can just pop you right into any scene whenever they want, as long as you sign over your image. Fuck that. Hmm. My body is my art, goddammit. Well, good for you, having That's principles. Right. But uh, do you think that might be something that Everest might have partaken in? Um, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, she's aging. Can I do another concentration roll? What was the thing of partaking in? Like be- selling her digital uh, image, maybe? Or her body. Yeah, like her, her or body. Or the use of her like body yeah. or something. Um, I guess it's possible. Mm-hmm. But she has moved on from modeling. Yeah, to true. To croupier now. Yeah. I just say, yeah, so then I'm probably, you know, I don't know. It's mm. impossible to say. You know, it's a valid, it's a valid theory, but we're just going on theories now. We've got to start gathering some hard evidence okay. here. Okay, okay. So based on what we know, it might be worth our time to uh, look up the, the local grifters. Grifters, what do we know about them <laughs> in Atlantic City? You want to do a streetwise yeah. or something? Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't say what the roles. I'm still kind of in GM right. mode a little bit. Yeah, I know. So- um, how, how are you, what are you doing exactly? I'm doing a streetwise or a local expert, either one to figure out who, like, who would I know that is a grifter that could lead me to other grifters, basically Oh, okay. a grifter circuit, basically. Right. Yeah. Ugh, two. Okay. Local experts, 14, 16. 
16. Mm -hmm. So I guess your main friend is a seer. seer. (laughs) Yeah. We didn't even mention that. There was a grifter on that sheet. Sure. And you didn't take it. No. So I don't think you have any connections with that grifter friends. No. You do know there is the exchange where um, things are obviously put out there. Yeah. Uh, but you don't have a solid connection hmm. in the world of griffs, I guess, is the way to put it, you know? Okay. Unfortunately. So then it's time to honest. see my seer, <laughs> I think. <laughs> All right. I'm psyched. Okay, so you're going to go meet up with your seer? hmm So your seer uh, works out of Madam Adam's Arcade which is uh, an arcade that's on one of the piers that is out onto the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Um, It's uh, got a multiple, like just all sorts of gaming and Mm. other things. Like a a midway. It's like, yeah, it's a bit like a midway. There's uh, some light gambling there as well. Mm. Um, So you're going to head over there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a walk from here because it's on the boardwalk. Mm -hmm. As you are leaving, you hear a car start to rev up on the street where you're stopped at and make a quick perception roll. There we go. That's all you. Perception, seven plus 16. Seven plus 16. You see... Or 22. You see a rather kind of... uh, like it, it's essentially the cyberpunk equivalent of a, a Honda that's got the underlights and uh oh shit, it's fast in the beard. <laughs> fast, fast, fast and, the and you see a, an Asian man in who's about in, in his early 30s has been just sort of staking this place out. And the minute that he sees the two of you exit, he's peeling out of there. I'm gonna use my micro optics to grab his license plate. Okay. Is that a role or like what? I don't well, know. what was your perception? perception? My perception what was, was what six, was your role altogether? It was, it was seven plus sixteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll say that you have it then. Okay, cool. And we will end it there. Awesome. Cool. We have to give the case a name. Oh, oh yes. Right. Yes, 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 yes. So this case will be the case of the mountains. <laughs> What do, what do mountains have to do with Everest me? and Pinnacle? Uh, okay. I mean, <laughs> really? You were the one who gave, gave the weird names. <laughs> well, it's just <sighs> ain't no mountain high. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a ma- like. No wonder you've got cases that are this old when you dust them off and they're named after Motown songs. You have no idea That's like what my whole thing. <laughs> Cases after Motown. That's it's... actually awesome. Let's get that. <laughs> okay, ain't so no ain't, no, ain't no mi- mountain, mountain high, high enough. enough. All case right, the, number the one. Case of ain't no mountain high enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Continue with the. Can, yeah. Sign off. Let's, okay. Let's sign off. <laughs> I gotta stop laughing. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks so much for, for listening, listening. Uh, to the first case in the role of a lifetime. Ain't no mountain high enough. Uh, I, I <laughs> let's see. What we never do it like <laughs> this. <laughs> God, this is truly new beginnings, everybody. <laughs> new beginnings. How do we sign off? <laughs> um, we say thank you again to Alec uh, Chupiano, our editor. You're gonna have your workout, your work cut out for you. <laughs> this you're one, have I guess. Your workout too. Um, yeah, and uh, go check out our video game. Uh, oh, thank. You. Sorry, before we do that. <laughs> Thank you to uh, Cyberpunk Red creators, uh, Art Desorian Games, uh, Ben McNally Books, the uh, uh, and who have provided the studio. Um, uh, our Patreon producer, uh, Ether Sphinx, and um, and thank you to all you. you lovely listeners. Thank you to everyone that's already signed up for NPC uh, the NPC yeah, tier. Um, yeah, definitely. You can get in touch with me uh by email titus at rocket adrift or on patreon or on patreon Mm -hmm. but 
Uh, I'll probably direct you to the email because it's easier for me to just mm. get the character sheets off of there. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. And so submit your NPCs. We've already got a few coming in. It's going to be very exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm happy about it. Looks good so far. <laughs> yeah. So real excited about that. And uh, right. yeah, check if you're not and you aren't a patron and you are interested in having an NPC on our show. And check out our Patreon. Yeah, mm -hmm. check check it out. It's got a lot of great stuff on there. Uh, we always appreciate your support. And uh, since this is a new, the start of a new season, um, new characters and everything is a great time to get other people into the show. If you're if you're thinking about somebody who would really like uh, our podcast and just likes detective stories and our brand of humor, then yeah, it's a great time to share uh, the 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 podcast um mm -hmm. we appreciate uh, all your positive reviews mm -hmm. on um your pot catching apps you know yeah so hope you all uh uh have enjoyed this episode and mm -hmm. are ready for more of uh the mad dog agency what did i call it it's <laughs> what? no blood <laughs> all <Yeah>. right <laughs> and with that uh Black Lives Matter and mm. trans rights are human rights. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thanks, everybody. See ya. Bye, everyone. Bye.